Today is the day that we climb a volcano. We're just leaving the bus and the RV park and heading over to our friends to continue to prepare. But this is my backpack. I've got three litres of water, a bunch of snacks, a very big camera lens I just bought for like telescopic shots of the volcano and my drone and it's very heavy. We've just stocked up. We're not taking all of this up the volcano, but we got some nuts, some fruit, oranges and apples, and yeah, this should this should do us. Gracias. Okay, we're back at the house. Just before we head off, Raya managed to run and get some um, breakfast. takeaway breakfast before we head off. It's in a banana leaf. Oh, that's cool. A little tofu scramble. Nice. And then we've got a little smoothie. Almost ready. Okay, I'm trying something new. I didn't want to have my cameras on my belt because I feel like they would just be rubbing. So I'm mounting my cameras on my bag strap. Could be uncomfortable, but I think that'll work better. I'm gonna have one each side. This is uh, Marcus's friend Diego. Hey, how are you? Are you an experienced hiker, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, so he's, he's gonna help us. It's just dawning on us, so maybe we've <laughs> Slightly overpacked. How many pairs of socks did you say you had, Ryan? I have five because I don't know with these <laughs> shoes. I don't want to get blisters. Maybe two's enough. <laughs> I bought one extra pair in case okay. these aren't thick enough. This volcano is Fuego. That's the one that we might be going up if it's not too dangerous. But if not, the one opposite. What's the one opposite called? Acatenango. Acatenango. Is that a bigger option or is that normal? That was a normal eruption. Okay. That, that, no, that was a decent one. That was medium. medium okay. Size. Right, what have you got there? I just rented some walking sticks and a headlamp because we're going to be walking down in the dark. Yeah. And it's perfect that you can just rent them. Maybe I should rent a headlamp. Yeah, maybe you should. I'm going to risk it without the walking sticks. I don't know whether I'm going to regret that decision, but... Uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. This is Norbert, our guy, and he's just telling us we're about to embark on about a six hour hike. It's an incredibly beautiful walk, really challenging, but super rewarding at the end of the day. So we're gonna go on Acatenango first and then go down and up into Fuego. Um, and he's also sharing a little bit of what happened with the volcano where we had a massive eruption um, and a whole town was wiped out because of the eruption. Okay, Raya, how are you feeling at the beginning of the hike? Feeling good. Yeah? Yeah, I'm just gonna try to stay positive as much as I can. <laughs> it's gonna be a breeze. Yeah, we're gonna crush <laughs> this, we're gonna crush this. Yeah. I'm feeling very optimistic, very excited. I do think it's gonna be a challenge. I just chatted to a group that had just come down and they said it, it gets down to about zero degrees Celsius at the top, very windy and cold. Yeah, as long as we've got warm clothes, we should be okay. Yeah, I'm, I feel like definitely I'm sticking with you girls. <laughs> the boys have disappeared. We're 15 minutes in. I'm already feeling the low oxygen because of the altitude. But thankfully there's a little cafe here, so we're going to stop and get a coffee. Coffee break. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Spin, huh? yeah. yeah. We are leaving our first little stop, this cafe. Um, it's a cool little stop off for people, either hiking up or down. I got a coffee and a little biscuit thing, but they do ice cream and stuff as well. The girls actually went ahead, so they're probably 10 minutes ahead of us now, so we're gonna have to catch up. Devin's decided to hike barefoot. <laughs> Nutter. Is it cool with those walking sticks? I think it helps a lot. Yeah, it helps you stop sliding. The way down, it's going to be real slippery. Yeah, they said they run down on this gravel. I feel like that's terrifying. In the dark? I don't know about that. <laughs> I would say with this altitude and the thinner air, I think it feels about three times harder than if we were at like sea level hiking. How are you feeling, Devin? How are your feet? Good, man, great, yeah. I think your shoes are, are weighing you down. Yeah. It's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> These are the pros, these guys. All right, so we just registered. We filled out our names and phone numbers and stuff. I'm guessing this is 
because if you don't come down, then they can like keep tabs of who's up there if they need to send help to help someone get down or something. But it's a nice little break. If you, I was, we were saying like it feels. I think because of the altitude as well, when you're walking, it feels like super hard to breathe. But if we stop, honestly, within a couple of minutes, we're like back to normal and feeling good. So yeah. I think it's all about like doing breaks often, but just for a couple of minutes yeah. at a time. Bursts, little bursts. Yeah. But I think, what do you think? We're like one sixth of the way up. I have no idea. Yeah, maybe something like that. Feels good, and we're next to this magical tree. And Marcus just telling us about it, how it's like super important to the ecosystem. I love how many plants are growing on it. It's so beautiful. How old do you think this is? Oh, this hundreds one. of years. Yeah. A few hundred years. Yeah. So one of the unique things about hiking through a volcano is. Since there's a very rapid change in elevation, we're seeing different ecosystems as we go along. Yeah. So we started with arid land, now we're going into the cloud forest. We got above the cloud forest and it'll just be the volcano and, and the volcanic rocks. Wow. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, and this is cool. This is like, all the trees have moss on them. It's changed like a lot since we started. Um, and it's about, I think like 1.5 kilometers change in elevation. And the final height we'll get to? Uh, Fuego is 3,750 meters. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. But we're not going to the summit of Fuego? No. <laughs> yeah, so we'll probably get to about 3,400 or so. Wow, that's, that's high still. You can see it over there. We can see it on breath, like you would in cold weather, but it's not cold. I plan on climbing Mount Everest, so... Do you? Are you actually? Yeah, I to, be the first Egyptian woman to, to actually summit Everest? Yes. Oh, that would be sick. <laughs> we made it to a rest stop, and we were just told that it's still four hours to base camp, which I don't understand how because it's supposed to be four hours from the bottom, and we've been hiking for an hour and a half. But it's okay. It's beautiful. This is like a much better climate. It yeah. feels like like cloud forest. There's like moss on the trees and it's very, very magical. My top is drenched through though. Like, I'm yeah. just dripping with sweat. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat, get all, get some, some energy. Nuts. Yeah. And then keep going. <laughs> we, just started a, we just started a little game. Who can collect the most trash on yeah. the route? Because- You've shown how devoted- Unfortunately, Devin yeah, Devin's in there with his bare feet, picking up <laughs> empty water bottles. Yeah, unfortunately- Unfortunately, people have been dropping trash, which if you ever go hiking, please don't do that. Yeah. Let's just keep nature beautiful yeah. and trash free. Yeah. <sighs> what, what was, I love that quote, it's like, take nothing but photos, leave nothing but footprints. Ooh. Nice. Love nice. it. <sighs> okay, we've been going for maybe another 40 minutes and we've crossed into another kind of terrain. Well, it's kind of on the edge of the cloud forest, but also... It's like wide open skies. Wide open, there's like pine trees. Yeah. yeah. So, so interesting. Cool. That's what Marcus was saying, that like climbing a volcano, you're like going through so many different climates and yeah. it's really cool. So good. Quick break in today's video to say thank you so much to MyHeritage for sponsoring this video and helping support our channel. They are the number one family history service in Europe. They offer DNA testing. They make it super easy to build your family tree and input photos and information. Even if you don't know a lot about your family's origin, they have access to 15 billion historical records. So there's such a good chance that you'll be able to find a match and maybe even find out something about your family that you didn't know about before. Also, this is the most exciting part for me and I didn't even know this existed. They have incredible AI technology that can colorize and even animate old black and white photos. And I started playing around with this the other day and I honestly like burst out crying, just the first photo that I did. As I input some of the information on my mom's side of the family, um, specifically around her dad, my mom's father, my grandfather passed away when she was 18, so I never got the chance to meet him, unfortunately. And I've only ever seen like three or four black and white photos of him. I don't know much about him and if I were to think about him, I can't really visualize what he looks like. And for the first time in my life, I'm gonna see a color photo of him and I'm gonna be able to animate it and actually get like an image of what, what he looked like. 
Okay, I'm not even doing it yet, and I'm already crying. But I'm just thinking about the fact that my mom and her brother and just other people in the family can have color photos of, like, their dad. Which I'm sure they never even thought was a possibility before. So, let's do it. Let me, let me show you how it works. So this is what the family tree page looks like, and mine is still pretty small because I'm actually waiting to jump on a call with my family. There's so much I don't know about my great-grandparents and beyond that, and even simple things like my grandmothers bo on both sides, their maiden names, I don't know that. I can't wait to sit down with my mom and my grandma and just different people in my family and just ask all of these questions for like hours. I just want to be putting in information about everyone and yeah, I just can't wait to like dive deeper and deeper. But anyway, okay, to the photos. This is it. Colorize. And then if I press animate. Oh my god. I just never, like there's no videos of him that exist, so I just never imagined that I'd be able to see something like this. Wow. Oh, this is just so freaking cool. <laughs> so anyway, that was just one of the like so many incredible features that are on MyHeritage. And if you would like to try out MyHeritage, you can get a 14 day free trial. Just use the link in our description down below. And if you love it and you want to keep going after that, you can get 50% off. So make sure you check that out. At the very least, go colorize some of your photos and surprise people in your family because as you can see, it means so much and it can like yeah, it can just be an incredible gift to give someone. So make sure you check that out in the description down below. Do not miss out on this amazing opportunity. And again, thank you so much to MyHeritage for sponsoring this video and let's get back to it. The experienced hikers have gone on ahead. We were slowing them down. Us less experienced hikers are taking it at a slower, more manageable pace just because why kill ourselves? And uh, also, I literally don't think I could go any faster than this. So far, I'd say my knees are feeling it a little bit, my calves and my glutes. We're about to take a little break, have another snack. Well, yeah, look at this view. Look at how high we are. We've done good. Oh, where are you going? Where is it going? Where is that dog going? Update on the hike. We just entered the clouds. So it's actually got quite dark. Some of the clouds are gray clouds, hopefully not rain clouds. And even though this isn't the steepest part, it's one of the most tiring, I think, just because of the altitude, thinner air. I know I've been going on about that, but it really is. So we're not making it very far before needing a break. Check how fast these clouds are. We've got about an hour of uphill and 40 minutes of flat-ish. And we found a road. Apparently we could have driven up. We only just found that out. We are absolutely exhausted. Just turning this corner. And there's a car. A car very similar to the car that we drove here in. <laughs> I love adventure. I love challenges. But if we could have driven more of the way, that could have been cool. What the heck? We have reached the top of the uphill climb and now we're going more across. I think there'll still be some uphill, but this is the top of the extreme uphill climbing. And we are, yeah, right in the clouds. This is epic. These clouds just spiraling here. It's got a bit colder. The wind's picked up. We put on our hoodies and uh, We've just popped up above the clouds, which is incredible and mind-blowing. It's not often you walk through the clouds and then above them. But check this out. This is wild. We're kind of getting vertigo a little bit. I don't know if you can even tell in the camera how top, like how high we are. We're like 3,000 meters now, right? Yeah. And the altitude is really getting to us. Especially as we haven't been at high altitude. Yeah. It like takes. Yeah, we're not accustomed to it. We're taking like ten steps, and then it's just like 
needing, yeah, needing a break. I'm just trying to be really mindful and taking like really deep breaths, but oh, I think we're almost there though. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. This dog, I don't know where he's going. He's not in a rush. He just came and sat next to us and he's chilling to the max. We just heard the volcano exploding real loud. It's like thunder, right? Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. This is Fuego, the active volcano. El Fuego. So we made it to base camp. Gracias. Ah, everyone's just chilling. Camping in the night. There's hammocks and dogs. We made it 3,600 meters. The volcano of Fuego is over there. We are just gonna lay down for hours. I'm so happy. We did it. I am very proud of us. First thing we're gonna celebrate with is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But later on, hopefully, we'll see some flames and lava and explosions. Our guide just brought us freaking hot chocolate. <laughs> Life is so good. Cheers. I think I'm 10 out of 10 happy right yeah, now. Yeah, look at this. Oh my god. And like the clouds cleared perfectly. What the heck is happening? This is pretty unreal. We also just got brought up some cookies too. Cookies, hot chocolate, volcano, what? <laughs> Bad news, I took the drone up to try and get some shots above the clouds because it was just clouds everywhere. We were, I wanted to see the sunset. Took the drone up, got a cool view of the, the volcano peak, which I didn't really need to do because now we ha also have a very beautiful, clear view of it. Anyway, then I noticed the horizon was going like, not just, hor not just diagonal, like, but almost vertical. And I was like, hmm, I don't think the drone's supposed to do that. And then suddenly, I guess, I'm only, this is all I can guess is one of the propellers came off. And the drone just started tumbling and free falling. It's down in the bottom of that ravine and I just, I lost track of it. It's, it says it's 700 meters away. I don't think I'm getting it. It's all the way down there. So sadly, I've lost the drone. On the plus side, the views are unbelievable. Yeah. On a mi another minus side, it's freezing. On another plus side, they're building a fire. <laughs> and then on another plus side, as the sun dips and the night arrives, I'm pretty sure we're going to see some epic yeah. uh, volcano action. There's a little puff of smoke that just came from the eruption and it's created this little ring. Can't believe it. It's so good. It just blew big time. Wow, that was aggressive. Wow. Have you 
think I can see the boys over there. Wow, are you kidding me? Whoa, you can see it rolling down the mountain. So I'm a little bit worried about... I can see them running, they're running. No, they're not. No. <laughs> wow. <gasps> wow, now that it's getting darker, you can actually see the lava coming out. Look, look at all the lovers just rolling on the hill. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh my, Louis is getting the most insane shots. Incredibly cold. We're about to go down. It might take two hours. Yeah, I don't know. So many layers on. But we've just spent the last couple of hours just in awe. Oh my gosh. Just yeah. watching Mother Nature at work. Yeah. Just you saw it. Yeah. Just spewing lava. Oh my gosh. One of the best. One experiences. of the most humbling and just awe-inspiring experiences. In my yeah. Hundred percent. Unbelievable. Okay. Don't want to blind you with my okay. Life. All right. Let's do it. I need to pee. Where am I going to pee? Suerte. Gracias, adios. 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 Oh yeah, where are the pole? Oh. Yeah, night time's way more active, isn't it? Oh, that's so cool. As we're walking down, the view over, I don't know how many different towns and cities this is, it's just unreal. Look at this dog that's following us, come on. We have met up with the other guys on the way down. We've got two hours to go, apparently. Yeah. Hola. Hola, horse. Okay. This is it. Final home stretch. We are 
dead. I think five minutes from the end and we're dead, yeah. Uh, yeah. That was the, probably the, I think that was the hardest hike I've ever done. Yeah. And the whole downhills is like destroyed our calves and stuff and your knees. My knees hurt. But the brilliant, beautiful, fantastic thing is, once we get back to Antigua, our friends have a hot tub and we're jumping in the hot tub. Yeah. And we have another friend home right now, Mile, who's cooking some food for us. Hot, fresh food. Oh my gosh. Let's go. High Let's five. Go. One last high five. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. As we're editing this video, we just realized that we never filmed an outro and we planned to sit down and have a whole debrief about the hike and the volcano. And we were so exhausted for like days after this that I guess it just completely slipped our minds. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. This hike was truly a physical and mental push for us, but the reward at the top was just out of this world, breathtaking. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again to My Heritage for sponsoring this video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.